and welcome back to Yoga 319 on YouTube. So this week, um, I did a class maybe two days ago and the flow was really popular. Um, so uh, my members have asked me to do a little bit of a flavour for it for YouTube this week. So join me, let's get onto our yoga mats and get going. So we're going to start kneeling. So just sit the bottom back to the heels, bring the hands to rest lightly on the knees. Just close the eyes for a moment. Just start to roll the shoulders. Oh, click, click, click. Good, nice. Just gently warming the body up, maybe take them in the opposite direction. Start to tune into the breath. Bring that focus inward. Okay, so we're gonna spend about 15 maybe minutes today working on this little flow sequence. So let's just warm up to begin with. Inhale to come up onto the knees, reach the arms up over the head, take the gaze up, lengthen both sides of the body, right side, left side. And then when you exhale, sit back down to your heels, take a twist, right hand comes to the left knee, left hand comes behind. Inhale lifts you all the way back up, reach up to the sky and then exhale, sit and twist to the other side. So we're just going to continue like this, find a rhythm with your breath, really lifting up to open the body, maybe start to take a little back bend, and then exhale to sit back into your twist, good. Just keep flowing, keep going with this. We're gonna do one more on each side, good. And then we'll meet back in the middle. From here we're gonna tuck the toes and sit the bottom back to the heels. So just have a wiggle around here, just warm up into the toes. Good. And then bring the fingertips down and see if you can float the knees up. Good. So heels are lifted, balancing on the toes. Yeah, if you feel quite secure here, then maybe you start to bring the hands to prayer at the chest. Then from here, we're going to use an inhale, stand all the way up, seeing if you can keep balanced on those toes. Nice. Wobbling around a bit. Take the arms up to the sky, holding here for three, two, and one. Good, float those heels down. You're gonna step your feet to the edges of the mat, around in the center of your mat. Bring the hands to prior at your chest, and then exhale to slowly sit the bottom down, all the way down into our yogic squat. So first round, it might feel quite tight in the hips, it certainly does for me. Let's have a wiggle side to side. Good, so just shifting the weight from one foot to the other foot. And if you can't get the soles of the feet down in your squat, don't worry about it. Maybe grab some cushions or blocks, put them under the heels just to support. Otherwise, you just have to balance on the toes, good. So just a couple more breaths here. Just going side to side. And then we're gonna slowly place that bottom down onto the mat, float the shins up. Come into your boat pose. So open the chest, draw the shoulders together. First round, we'll hold on behind the thighs. Good, just warming up. Good, so feeling that nice contraction in the core, take the gaze towards the toes. And then from here, we cross over the ankles, roll over the knees, step your feet back into a high plank. Good, check your alignment. Nice straight line, heels, hips, shoulders. Push the earth away with the hands. Good, draw that navel up towards the spine. Then lower the knees and give me five tricep push-ups. So exhaling to lower down, inhale, push up. Exhale, we lower, inhale, push. So all the time, making sure that those elbows are going backwards towards the knees rather than out to the sides. Good, and we'll do one more. Nice, push up, and then go ahead, lower all the way down. Chest and chin come down, come onto the belly. Good, we're going to come up into a cobra pose, push the earth away with the hands, and then we're going to repeat here for a few reps. So exhale, lower down. Good, forehead taps the earth, inhale, lift up. Good, exhale, float down. And each time you go through this little movement, see if you can take your back bend a little deeper. Good, switch on those glutes, protect the lower back. Good, we'll do two more, inhaling to lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift you, exhale, lower. 
and then re-tuck your toes, lift your bottom, and send it back towards the heels, and then we'll lift them up and back into our first down dog. Good, so let's pair our heels out here, spread the shoulders apart from each other, find some length in your spine, alternately bending the knees, creating length in the calves and the hamstrings. Good. And then we'll find some stillness. From here, we're going to step back into our squat. So maybe the right foot comes to the right edge, the left foot comes to the left edge, and then you sit the bottom back. Elbows come on the insides of your thighs. So are we feeling maybe a little bit looser yet? Maybe not. Let's have a wiggle. Good, take it side to side, side to side. Good, find some stillness. We're gonna introduce a twist here now. So bring the right palm down as you extend the left arm up to the sky. Maybe the gaze will follow. Good, holding here for a breath. And bring that hand down, come back to your squat. Good, from here, sit the bottom down, float the shins up, boat pose. Good, so all options to stay in the previous version of a posture. So we can either stay here holding the backs of the thighs or maybe you float the arms either side of the shins. Good, take the gaze towards the toes. Open the chest, draw the shoulders together. Holding for three, for two, and one. Cross over the ankles, plant the hands, step back into your plank pose. Good, then from here, we are going to come directly into an upward facing dog. So come onto the tops of the feet. Good, and then start to lower the hips. Push the earth away firmly, engage the legs. Come into your back bend. Nice. Then we're picking up this left foot and we're stepping it behind the right knee, coming up in to a wild thing. And it was only when I started going into that posture that I thought, I possibly haven't left myself enough space here. But you'll, you'll get the picture. Good. So from here, we're gonna come back into high plank, left palm comes down, left toes come down. Take a vinyasa, so knees, chest, chin, or maybe hovering down. Inhale, up dog or all cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, so lifting those hips high up and back. Good, nice. Finding some length in the spine. And then we're making our way back into our squat. So perhaps the left foot comes to the left edge, right foot comes to the right edge. Sit yourself back down. Good, take that wiggle. Okay, maybe, maybe we're starting to feel a little bit more open in the hips. And then we're gonna take that rotation, bring the left palm down, right arm reaches up to the sky. Good, take the gaze up there, nice. And bring it back down. Meet me back in the squat before the bottom comes down and you float the shins up. So, find your posture first of all, and then float the arms away. Let's point the toes, and then we're gonna tap the right toes down, lift them up. Good, left toes go down and come up. Good, keep going, so right down and up. Focus on that lovely, strong core. Good, making a nice V-shape with the upper body and the thighs. One more each side. Perfect. And then go ahead, cross over the ankles, roll over the knees. Palms come forward, step back into your plank pose. From here, we move directly into upward facing dog. Come onto the tops of the feet. Good, then lower the hips, open the chest, push the earth away through both hands. Legs are engaged. Pick up this right foot, step it over. Good, and then come into your wild thing. So the left leg is extended, the right leg is bent, with right arms coming up and over. Nice, and then meet me back in a high plank. Good, take a vinyasa, so knees, chest, chin. Maybe you're hovering the whole way down to the mat. Inhaling into your upward facing dog, or maybe we're in cobra. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Good. So we're just now going to start to add, add to this little sequence. So either stepping the right foot and then the left foot forward, or maybe you fancy hopping the feet to the edges of the mat, sit the bottom back low squat. Good, so maybe that bottom's sinking a little deeper now. Check in with that spine, is it nice and long? 
Good, so we're either going to take that twist or let's all start off in the twist. So right palm comes down, extend the left arm up. If you fancy trying a bind here, then this left arm wraps around the back as you take this right arm around the front of the shin. Good. See if you can find some fingertips back there to hold on to. Good. Take the gaze up to the sky. Holding here for one breath. Nice and then unbinding or untwisting if you're twisted. Come back to your low squat and then sit the bottom down. Float the legs up. Good. So find your posture first of all. Then float the arms away. Good. This time we're going to uh, point the toes and then extend the right leg away. Good. Bring it in. Extend the left leg away. Bring it in. So trying to keep the upper body exactly where it is as we extend through the legs. Nice, really great work out for your tummies. Good, go left. And then we'll do one more on each side. Good. Left side. Perfect. Then cross over those ankles, plant the hands, step back, high plank. So moving straight into our upward facing dog. So come onto the tops of the feet, lower the hips, open the chest, gaze up. Good, come into your back bend. Pick up this left foot, step it behind the right knee and then open up into your wild thing. Good. Now from here, we're going to try and get this left foot to the front outside edge of the mat. So with control, and you can use your um, left hand on the knee if you need to. With control, we're going to pick up this left foot, bring it over the top and then step it forward. Good. So both hands are now on the inside of that left foot and we're working our way into lizard. Shift the hips forward and back, forward and back. And if you fancy taking it deeper, lower that right knee, untuck the toes and maybe work your way down onto your forearms. Let the head be heavy. Good. Nice, and then coming back up, retuck that back toe, lift the knee, step back into your plank pose. Good, so taking a vinyasa here, even knees, chest, chest, or maybe hovering down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, so we'll do that same thing now on the left side. So you're going to step the left foot and then the right foot forward or maybe you're hopping the feet to come into your yogic squat. Nice, so starting off with the rotation, left hand comes down, right arm goes up. Nice, and then if you fancy a bind, you're bringing this right arm behind as you wrap this left arm around the front of the left shin. Good, taking that gaze up to the sky. Nice, the bind is completely optional. It's just something for you to try if you fancy. Release, come back to your squat. Sit the bottom back, float the legs up, boat pose. Good, so find, find your stability first and then float the arms away. Flexing the feet. This time we're going to float the arms out to the side. I've not left myself enough space. Good, bring them in. Take them out. Good, bring them in. Good, three more. Out and in. Last two. Good, and last one. Nice. Cross over the ankles, roll over the knees, step back in to your plank pose. Good. So coming straight onto the tops of the feet, lower the hips, come into your upward facing dog. Nice. From here we pick up this right foot, step it behind the left knee, open up. Wild thing. Nice. And then from here with control, maybe take the right hand onto the right knee. We're going to pick up this right foot and step it all the way to the front of the mat. Help it along if you need to. So have a wiggle forward and back in our lizard here. All good. And then if you want to take it lower, drop that left knee and then maybe come down onto your forearms. Let the head be heavy. Take a few breaths here. Feel that nice opening in the front of the left hip. Good, work your way back onto your hands, step back into your plank pose. Take a vinyasa, so lowering knees, chest chin, or maybe hovering down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, so let's just pedal the heels here to bring a bit of movement 
before we go again. Good, so stepping the right foot and then the left foot or maybe hopping the feet forward. Sit back into your squat, have a wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hopefully we're getting a little bit deeper, a little bit more open into the squat now. Right arm comes down, left arm goes up. Taking the bind if you wish, left arm behind, right arm wraps around the front. Good, take the gaze up to the sky. Nice, and then release, come forward. Sit the bottom down, float the legs up. Good, float the arms away. And then this time we're gonna exhale to come down into a low boat. So hovering the legs, hovering the upper body. Good, and then inhale, come up. Good, exhale, go down. Inhale, brings you back to high boat. Exhale, low boat. Inhale, high boat. One more time, exhale, low boat. Inhale, high boat. One more breath here. And then cross over those ankles, come onto the palms, step back into your high plank. Come into your upward facing dog. So we're coming onto the tops of the feet, lowering those hips, opening the chest, push the earth away. Pick up your left foot, step it behind your right knee, open out into your wild boo. Good, we open the front body. And then picking up this left foot and with control, we're gonna step it to the outside of the mat, both hands on the inside. So stay up here in a high lizard. And then we're gonna shift into a side lunge towards the back of the mat. So walk the hands backwards, come to bend deeply into this right leg, maybe come up onto the heel of that left foot or the sole can be down either or. So keeping both hands on the inside of the foot or maybe you plant the right hand as you extend the left arm to the sky. Maybe you bring the left hand around the right ankle as you extend the right arm up, just an option. And then come back to the front of your mat. Step back, plank pose. Nice, take a vinyasa. Knees, chest, chin or hovering down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down with dog. Nice, so we've got one more um, time to do on the left side. So left foot steps forward, then right foot, or maybe you're hopping the feet. Good, sit the bottom back. Nice, have a wheel. Good, hope your hips are nice and warm now. Bring the left palm down, right arm goes up for your twist. Maybe you're taking a bind, bring this right hand behind. The left arm scoops around the front of that shin. Good, take the gaze up to the sky. Nice release, come back to your squat. Perfect, and then sit the bottom down, float the shins up. Hold on behind the thighs, first of all, and then take the arms away. This time we're gonna to exhale to lower halfway. Good, and then we're just gonna hold. If you want more of a challenge, you can take the arms out to the sides. I'm just gonna take them out this far because that's got a wall in the way. Good. So focus on that core, focus on that lovely long spine, open the chest, maybe take the gaze up a little bit. Holding for three, two, one. Cross over the ankles, come forward onto the hands, step back into your high plank. Come directly into upward facing dog, find the tops of the feet, lower the hips, open the chest. Pick up your right foot, step it behind your left knee, open up into your wild thing. Then from here with control, we pick up this right foot and we step it to the front of the mat. So step here in your high lizard and then shifting all the way to the back of the mat for your side lunge. So both hands on the inside of this left foot, maybe you're on the heel, maybe the sole is down, either or. So here we'll take a twist, left palm down, right arm extends. Good, maybe you wanna take this right hand to the left ankle as you take the left arm to the sky, just an option. Good, and then shifting all the way back to the front. Good, step back into your plank, lower your knees, take your bottom back to the heels, bring it forward to the earth, and let's take a child's pose. Good, so there you go. There is a flavor of the yogic squat, the malasana flow that we did earlier this week. So if you've got time to spend a few moments in your Shavasana now, go ahead, chill out. If not, thank you so much for joining me today, wherever you are. 
If you like the video, please hit like, please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos in the future. Lots of love.